Hi. Okay, so first things first. You got in the picture, I'm, I don't know. When you go to your client's house, take a look around um, and kind of assess what the function of the blind is gonna be, first of all. So if they're facing a street with busy traffic or they're right next to their neighbor, privacy is gonna be number one. So there are a few options that will only work best for privacy. If they're kind of back, you know, uh, onto an acreage or whatever, privacy is not an option, then you have a lot of other choices that you can you can use. So here's an example. When you, if you're gonna measure up a window, the first thing you wanna do is take a look at your window. We'll use this one. Um, you can see that the window sill is very deep. It's a newer, newer style window. Most new homes will have windows that are this deep or even a little bit deeper. So you know that you're good to go with an inside mount. You can take a look at the blind up in the window there. It's mounted inside the window jabs, so it's called an inside mount. Um, so first thing you want to know, you want to notice is like how deep the window is, because then you can know where to measure from. If that window was two inches or less, like older homes, they don't have very deep window sills or window jams at all, then you're probably going to want to do an outside mount, which means that the blind would be mounted outside the window at the top of where that casing is instead of inside the window. So you always want to measure in three spots um, when you're measuring for windows. Your width, you're going to measure at the top, the middle, and the bottom, and then your height, outside, middle, outside. Because not all windows are square and they're not plumb. Um, and if you take only one measurement, the window might curve on the inside like this. And then if you measure the top, it's wider, it gets a little narrower, it gets wider. If you go with the widest measurement, your blind's gonna get stuck in the middle. And I've had that happen. And you have to send it back and pay for it to be cut down. So we don't wanna do that. There we go. Take your tape measure. Blinds, blinds are always measured and calculated up to the, near, the, the nearest eighth of an inch. Just to keep you, keep you, <laughs> what? Blinds are always measured um, to the nearest eighth of an inch, just to keep that in mind. So. Take your tape measure. We're gonna start at the top. This one already has a blind in it, but whatever. You're gonna go from the inside to the inside. I don't know if you can see, I'll take a picture of it afterwards, but in this window, there's a flat piece and then there's a little tiny bit of a lip where the casing is. So we're not gonna measure where the casing is here. We're gonna measure on the inside of the actual window sill or the window jam. So you're gonna go as high as you can go. You're gonna go tight. To the inside of there and take it straight across and you're gonna measure whoopsie, you're gonna measure to the nearest eighth of an inch inside here so this one's 27 and a quarter exactly so then you go to the middle do the same thing so this one's 27 mm, 27 and an eighth so it actually gets an eighth skinnier the crowns in the middle kind of comes in and then you go to the bottom 27 and a quarter, so it goes back to a quarter. So what I would do is you always take your tightest measurement, so that's 27 and an eighth. So the width of this window is 27 and an eighth. Then you do your height. You go from your outside corner. Um, it's a little tricky because my blinds are already in the window. So you measure down, same thing. Hmm, it's like 63. 63 and a quarter. Then you go to the center, do the same thing. It's probably 63 and a quarter. And then go to your outside corner here. 63 and a quarter. So the manufacturer, blind manufacturer, will take off basically an eighth of an inch on either side just for clearances. That's what they'll do at the factory. You don't have to take those off. Just keep in mind that go tight as you possibly can and then don't worry that it might be a little too tight because they'll take off an eighth on this side and an eighth on this side when they actually make the blind.